my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, first of all, today we have an amazing revelation from an actual saint, our beloved Saint Paisio, which has actually appeared to a high school student. Before I start, just really quickly, we're up to church number six and seven in Kenya. Anyone wishing to help us, I'll put the link below. If you wish to donate, no pressure. So the story of St. Basio's appearance has come straight to my ears from a clergy. I was blessed to speak to this clergy and confirm um, the details about this appearance and also to receive a blessing to speak about the incident in detail. So as we know, the governments have been trying to push this here upon the children and the kids and the high school students. Now, there was a particular girl and she used to go to church on a weekly basis, do her Holy Confession, uh, partake of Holy Communion. So this student had read about St. Basio, about the prophecies. She also knew about Father Sava Hilea, speaking about um, the Antichrist taking the throne of health. She was aware of all this. So she wanted to go speak to her spiritual father. But unfortunately, okay, and I say this with great sadness, he told her to go ahead and take it. So after she spoke to him, she went home. She went to her room and she was boiling out her eyes. She was crying and she was praying to Saint Paisio. And she was saying, please, Saint Paisio, you told me not to take this. Okay, it's in your prophecies. But today I heard something different. What am I meant to do? Can you please, please answer my prayers? And sure enough, our beloved Saint Basio has answered her prayers. That night, he appeared and the saint told her, first of all, not to have anything to do with this and not to take it. And the second thing the saint said is for her to find a new spiritual father. And for anyone that is not aware of the prophecy of the saint, he actually said, And now, a little devil, as I call it, has been developed to combat a new disease, which will be obligatory, and those taking it will be marked. And for those that do know, in Australia at the moment, everyone has to take that before a certain date. And if they don't, you cannot work. So in other words, in the name of health, you cannot earn an income, so you can't feed your kids. You cannot, obviously, you cannot travel, you cannot partake in social events. For all of us that know what the mark is going to be, you cannot buy or trade or sell, um, you cannot do this or that. Well, as we can see, it's got, that's why it's called the forerunner of the mark. It's got the same characteristics. And as you saw from my latest video, it's about two videos below, this was actually spoken by my spiritual advisor, uh, Father Sava Yoriti, and he spoke about the monk, the monk that actually went ahead and took this and what happened to him. And for anyone that wants to watch this, I'll put the link below in the description and you can watch that as well. So all these revelations are from God, okay? So we don't listen to opinions of leaders that are compromised. They are either serving the government or they're pretty much deceived. And St. Basio said, and you see, people are not at all aware that we are living during the signs of the times, that the ceiling is already advancing. It is as if nothing is happening. This is why the sacred scripture says that even the elect will be deceived. If anyone has done, let's say the first one or the second, please do your holy confession. Please do it for the love of your soul. I've got nothing to gain. In the Revelation in 1823, it says, and for by pharmakia from the pharmaceuticals, all nations were deceived. Let's all listen to the saint. Yes, we might suffer. I too um, and suffering myself. I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and talk about myself because it's not about me, but each person carries their cross, okay? Even if we have to sell one of our 
vehicles just to make ends meet until all this is over. Even if we have to downsize a house, even if we have to homeschool our kids until this goes by at the schools, even if a couple, only one person works and the other one has to stay home to look after the kids, please, this is for your kids' souls. This is for all of our souls. So God bless you all. And like an unworthy sinner, I pray for you all morning and night. And I pray our Lord, our Panahia and all the saints, hear my prayers. God bless you and take care.